This is John for JohnGB.com. I'm at Resistance Pro Wrestling. I found the legend, Mickey Knuckles. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Uh, breezy today. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little chilly. A little bit, a little bit. Now, how did you get started in the business? I was backyard wrestling, and I was basically being thrown around like a rag doll, if you can believe my size. Everybody that was in the ring with me was either 300 pounds or heavier. Um, so I was the testing dummy, and we started writing out a ring at IWA Midtown, and the promoter's wife saw me in the ring and asked me if I wanted to train to be a wrestler, and I had a scholarship to go overseas to study opera. Could, really? Yeah. Couldn't fulfill the rest of the scholarship because I didn't have the money to. I got offered to train for free as long as I paid my dues and could make their training, so... So did you follow wrestling growing up? Yes, actually my very first wrestling match that I saw live was Miss Jackie beating up downtown Bruno at the Louisville Gardens. Oh, yeah. I, I, remember, <laughs> I remember the feud at least. <laughs> Absolutely, it was amazing. I, I watched that one. I want to do that, but when you're in, you know, I lived in Charlestown, Indiana, which is a small little bum town in Indiana, and you don't really know how to get wrestling either. You think you're born into or you have to know somebody, so it's kind of like I just tripped and fell on this person who wanted to, to train me, so. Now, how long do you see yourself wrestling? Actually, I was going to retire if it wasn't for Tracy Smothers. Uh, when I broke my leg, it took two surgeries. After the first surgery, I wrestled with it still broke, and then I came back and was doing death matches and things like that, found out it was still broke, had to postpone my surgery for a little while. By the time I had it, I'd been so jaded on wrestling. I absolutely could not stand the people in it. And then I got out, <coughs> and Tracy Smothers gave me a call and asked me to come be a part of Smothers' Twisted Daughters STDs and tag up with his daughter, Jessie Bell, at the time. I had already been doing Isabel at JCW for Juggalos, so it worked out. And you've been at Resistance for a little, a uh, few months now? For a few, yeah. What are your impressions of Resistance? Um, it's a different atmosphere. Everybody here seems to be part of a team. And time out for a second. Yeah. <coughs> as soon as you start asking me questions, of course I have to get this to go. I usually choke up, so it's all right. Right? Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy somebody wants to talk to me. I uh, love talking to you. I know, right? We'll talk to you all night. Everything. Uh, especially if we got whiskey. I get funnier as I get drunker. Well, I, I just get <laughs> cold, but it's the same thing. Right? But, uh, but no, everybody here seems to be getting along. There's this camaraderie uh, in the locker room. Nobody's trying to take anybody's job. They welcome new people because it's new, fresh talent with different ideas and different characters, and everybody here has something to give to the table. It's not like you're coming into a cookie-cutter factory where everybody looks just like the other guy. I mean, you've got, of course, I'm not going to be anybody's idea of a women, you know, knockout diva or whatever else, no pun intended, And because uh, <laughs> I'm a bigger girl, but they welcome that here because I have something different to bring other than the other girls. I mean, you've got Crazy Mary Dobson, you've got Darcy. Darcy Dixon, you've got uh, Amazing Kong, you, you have all of these great talents, Thunder Kitty, who I'm wrestling tonight, who have all different aspects of the wrestling business to bring into here, and then, you know, we're all allowed to be here, so it's not like anybody's fighting for something that's not there, it's, it's we're all here together. Do you have any, any goals left in wrestling, anything that you really want to do before you retire? Oh, well, in order to retire, you have to have something to retire from, I haven't done anything to retire from anything. Oh, are you sure you have? <laughs> no, no, We've all read yet. the legend. Legend of Mickey Knuckles. Oh, legend is so usually thrown around. I think I, I am nowhere near a legend in this business. Uh, but I have a couple of goals I've set for myself, and uh, I'm, I'm currently back in, in school. I'm in college right now. Plus, I just had a beautiful little girl. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. And I, I want to give her something to look back and say, "Mommy did this, and I'm proud of mommy for this." So, I have a couple of things I need to do before I finally hang up the boots. But I, I, I think I have the uh, will and determination if I. I made it through all the other bullshit. I can do this too. So awesome. now, before we let you go, you, you got a train. You got a, man, a lot of fans here. What um, is there any place people could find you on the web? Absolutely, you've got MickeyKnuckles.com. I'm on Twitter at Mickey L Knuckles, um, and I am also on Facebook, Mickey L. Knuckles. Mickey Knuckles, thank you very much for your time, ladies and gentlemen. Come out and see her. She's great. She's sweet. I uh, hope she doesn't kick my butt for saying that, but she's sweet as can be. Thank you, Mickey. No problem. And when you got a name like Mel Camel Toe, I mean. You gotta have personality, right? Hey, hey I got a name like John. I gotta have personality too. <laughs> it's, it could be worse. It could be the Red Rooster. Exactly. <laughs>